In this tutorial I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm just going to do a really quick video to show how to use the Clover Pom Pom Maker. Um, this is probably one of my very best buys because I make pom poms all the time for hats and things. Um, but when I first got it I wasn't exactly sure how to use it. Um, so I thought that this would be a good little one that might help a few of you out. They do come in all different sizes. Um, this one is the medium size one. I do have a blue one which is much bigger and I do have a little one as well. Um, this I think is a lovely size for on top of hats or on the edges of blankets. But also I do love using the giant one, the really, really big one um, for hats as well. <laughs> so this is how they will look when you get them out of the packet and then you can pull it apart so that it looks like this and this is how you need it to be at the beginning to start your pom-pom. So I'm just using some yarn that I have left over. Um, I think it was a Stylecraft merry-go-round one I think. So to start off with you want to make sure that you have your two pieces lined up so that they are at the same angle just like this. And then we're literally just going to start wrapping our yarn around. So it is, it is quite time consuming. Um, okay, and you will need quite a bit of yarn to do it. So I'm all lined up here ready to go. And I'm just going to line my tail end down in the groove between those two pieces. And they will move about a little bit just at the beginning until you get your first few wrap arounds done. So I'm just going to hold my tail end along the top just for a second and I'm literally just going to start wrapping the yarn around. I'm going to make sure that I go all the way to the end and work my way back along again. And you want to make sure that you keep it quite even. You don't want to build up a great big bulge in one area and then move on to the next. You do want to go backwards and forwards. So again, I'm making sure that I'm going right to the very end. And again, I'm going to start working back along. And you're literally just going to keep going from one side to the other, making sure that you do go right into the very end over here. And then again, you're just going to keep working back across. You want to be careful that it doesn't go underneath there. So the fuller that you want your pom-pom to look, the more times you're going to want to wrap around. Um, obviously the more times you wrap around, the fuller it will look at the end. And you want to keep going until this inside dip almost disappears. So your edges will fill up a lot faster than the middle section. But again, you just want to try and keep it even, wrapping it around. I'm going to stop there. You can see that the dip is much less obvious now. It is getting a little flatter. So I'm going to stop there and I'm going to snip my yarn so that it's pretty much level with the it to the top of the the yarn just there. And then you're going to hold on to that tail end so that it doesn't go anywhere and you're going to close that side up. And then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm just line my yarn over that tail, over that edge just for a moment. There we go. Ooh. And then I'm going to Start wrapping around until it's secure. There we go. And then you're literally just going to do the exact same thing 
on this side you're just going to wrap it around from one end to the other over and over again until it is the same as the other side that you've just done. So if you want to do that and then we'll meet you back once you've wrapped around on this side. So I've just finished doing wrapping on this side now and again I'm going to snip that yarn there and then I'm going to close. And so that is both sides now wrapped. And now we want to start cutting. So you want to get yourself a decent pair of scissors that are sharp because you are going to be trying to cut all the way through those strands. So you're going to turn it on its side like this so that you've got these little bits facing you here. And you're going to put your scissors, you need to hold it quite tight so that it doesn't move around. And you're going to put your scissors along the groove that you'll be able to feel underneath your yarn. And you're literally just going to start cutting. And you're just going to do a little bit at a time. And this is why the sharper the scissors, the better really. And you're just going to work your way along that groove. Again, holding it all nice and tight so that it doesn't come apart. That's one side cut and then you're going to turn it over, remember hold it nice and tight and we're going to start cutting the other side in the exact same way. So I'm all cut now, all the way around. And we're just going to pop that down for a second. And you're just going to cut off um, a length of yarn. I'm going to cut off probably about between 30 and 40 centimeters. So I've got a strand of the same yarn here. And we're now going to tie this around the, the pom-pom before we take it out of the pom-pom maker. So you want to get your yarn, the middle part of your yarn, and you're going to pop it along the centre of those grooves and then turn it up like this and then you're going to do a knot just like that, just a single knot and then you're going to pull really tight through those grooves tight as you can go and then I'm going to do an, another knot before, just in this same place and then I'm going to turn over and I'm going to bring that yarn back up with me again and I'm going to do another knot on this side as well and remember to pull it as tight as you can but obviously without breaking the yarn and then another knot and then you're going to use these tile pieces here um, for actually attaching it to your work. Um, obviously you will probably want to sew it in as well, but it's just it's handy to have these two tails here just to do your first knot to secure it onto your work and then stitch through it afterwards. So I've tied on my yarn through the centre now and now we're going to open the pom-pom maker. So you can see on the side here you've got these little bits where you can just get your fingers underneath just here. So you're going to hold those and you're going to pull them up while holding this centre bit nice and tight. You're going to pull them out just like that and then you're going to find the other side just here and do the exact same thing. Holding onto the centre you're going to pull them up so that it opens up like this. And then you're going to hold on to these outer parts just here and you're going to pull them apart. And then this is how you should be looking for your pom-pom. Now obviously it, you'll have a few little straggly bits that might want tight, tidying up again at the end. But you can see it makes a perfect 
really full and fluffy pom-pom. Like I say, this is a brilliant size for on top of a hat. So yeah, just give it a little fluff up. And then you would just go round with your scissors and just any little bits that you wanted to to make it absolutely perfect you can just go round and have a little snip at it. Now normally I would do this with a carrier bag underneath so that I don't have to spend ages finding all of the <laughs> cleaning up all of the furry little bits that will be coming off um, but just for the tutorial sake it can just go on my table it's fine. So you would just trim around it until you were perfectly happy with how it was looking and it was a nice perfect circle. But that is it, that is how you use the Clover Pom Pom Maker. I have used other Pom Pom Makers as well, um, some some cheaper ones I'll, um, to be honest. And th they do work and they work well but I just, I like the feel of the Pom clover ones they they do feel like they're really good quality and um, they don't feel flimsy at all and they have just become my absolute favorite pom-pom maker but that is it for the clover pom-pom tutorial i hope that you found it useful i will also be doing a pom-pom tutorial for people who haven't got clover ones ones that you can just literally diy at home i will be doing a tutorial for those as well but if you were going to splash out and buy a pom-pom maker and um, this is my personal favorite one they are the clover ones and um, if you've liked this one do remember to give me a quick thumbs up and to subscribe as well because i do have regular videos coming up every week and i will see you again very soon for another tutorial but thanks as always for watching guys and i'll see you again soon bye